Good morning guys! Today I'm going on a special trip. Me and six other honorary reporters from Koreanet are going to Namhae for three days and I'm really looking forward to it. Join me and let's go! This was the first time for me traveling with an express bus in South Korea. I really like this display when someone scanned their ticket you could immediately see where the person is sitting and then we were leaving the Daegu bus terminal, which was pretty big, it has even two floors. Oh, hello Hyunbin, let's check out the bus. So it was not one of those luxurious buses that there are in Korea as I've seen, it was just a normal bus. Unfortunately here I didn't even have an opportunity to charge my phone, but I had these two nice buttons for my seat and I could listen to some music here but I really love this leg thingy it was very comfortable to drive with it bye bye Dego let's meet the other HRs and go to Namhe After traveling for a few hours, the other HRs and me were finally reaching Namhe. On our trip we even got this nice present bag from Namhe, which looked pretty cute and had a lot of stuff inside. Let's check out. The first impression of Namhe. Some fisher clothes, a turtle boat and wonderful sea view. Our first destination was the visit of this turtle boat which is very famous in the southern region. These boats were developed by the famous admiral Yi Sun Shin who became very famous for his successful fights and strategies in the sea fights in the southern area of South Korea in the 16th century. We were even able to go inside and check out the small exhibition that is taking place here. Close to the turtle ship on a hill is a shrine which was built to honor Yi Sun Shin. It was established in 1628. Here you can also find a steel with a epitaph written by renowned scholars. And behind the shrine is an empty grave where Yi Sun Shin's body first was buried. Close to that area you can find Namhegak. It was a rest area in the past for tourists, but now it became a cultural and historical place which you can visit. Here you can find historical exhibitions, but also some art. Yeah. 
There is also a souvenir shop inside the building so you can buy many nice things that will remind you of Namhe or just enjoy a cup of coffee or tea with a wonderful view of Namhe. Here you also have full view to the Namhe Daegyo bridge which connects the island with the onshore. Namhe is of course also very famous for fishing, especially for anchovies and in this center you can find out how the whole fishing culture is working, what kind of fishes can be found in Namhe or what kind of seafood is there. The whole variety is really really huge and in this exhibition you can also find out how the fishes are being caught and what the people are doing with them afterwards. For example, this small miniature of a wire and here is an exhibition how the anchovies are being dried and prepared to be sold. These are some of the tools that people are still using and you can even see how the food is made with anchovies, many many different dishes, you will be really surprised. This is just a small part of them, so there is really a huge variety of food with anchovies. But you can also visit a real bamboo fishing weir at Namhe. The waters in Namhe are pretty fast rushing at 13 km per hour, so the anchovies freshly caught this way in the area are reputed to be one of the best ones in Korea. And of course we could try out some anchovies and they were really very delicious. Welcome to day two in Namhe. I want to show you our place where we stayed overnight. We even had a small kitchen and a really nice living room and a really, really amazing balcony with a wonderful view to the sea and to the yacht port. We had a small table here for four people the green hills and the sea right in front of us. The view is really amazing and the places, the rooms are really nice and clean. And even a jacuzzi, which we didn't use, but it was cool to have one. And we woke up with this wonderful view. The Elim Marina and Resort was just open in 2020. It is a bit in the nowhere, but the restaurant right in front of it is really nice and it has delicious food and the view from the window is just amazing. That's how you should probably start every day and you can even see here some jumping fishes. Our first destination on day two was the Gachon Derengi village. The village is famous for its fantastic sea view. As a tourist, you can walk along narrow winding roads that meet the rail along the coastline and enjoy the scenic view and the plants and the nature. It is really interesting to find hidden places in this area. The view is really amazing. The village is located on a mountain which made it difficult for the people here to grow crops. That's why the villagers decided to build 108 step stones on the mountain to where they are usually growing rice. So the steps that you see in the picturesque landscape are heady fields. A rather unusual destination is Space Mijo. It's not only a cafe but also an exhibition place. The current exhibition has the name of The Language of Gravitational Waves, where the artist Yi Byung Chan shows the energy he experienced in new cities through these installations. Through his work, he shows conception system of a city and also irregular movements created by unpredictable market disorders. 
But Space Mitchell doesn't only have interesting artworks, but also warp doors, which are leading you to even more interesting things in this building. destination led us to Gumsan mountain and the temple on top of it which is called Buryam Hermitage. It was founded in 683 and has a very unique atmosphere but the most fascinating thing is its breathtaking view. Legend has it that the visitors of the Hermitage will be granted one wish. The Boryam Hermitage is one of Korea's three major hermitages. And if you're lucky, you can even see here a magnificent sunrise. Another famous place in Namhe is the German village. In the 1970s, many Koreans went to Germany for work. When some of them returned, this village was founded. Here you can feel some atmosphere from Germany, discover some German foods and shops and some souvenirs and also enjoy a Yuja ice cream, although there is no Yuja in Germany. Welcome to day number three in Namhe. In the early morning we visited a seafood auction where fishers are selling their seafood to different customers. There were many shells and fishes that you could see and one of our honorary reporters was very fearless as I think. All the people were very busy here preparing their catch from the sea to be sold. It was at first very confusing to understand how the auction goes, but there are some people who are wearing hats with numbers and shouting and showing some signs with the hands and then the numbers are just being put to the bowls, depending on the person who bought them. After that we visited a local sea day where we had the honor to release some young fishes to the sea. You might not believe it, but those bowls were pretty heavy. But it was definitely a lot of fun to do that. Have a nice travel! And our last destination was the traditional market in Namhe. We came here to have our last meal in Namhe. By the way, in one of my next videos I will show you what kind of food you can actually eat 
in Namhe what's famous there. But for now we just enjoyed the seafood market and all the colorful seafood that you can find here. It was really amazing to see the whole variety and the different fishes and squids and shellfishes and many many other things that are being eaten in Korea. Also what surprised me, if you buy a fish at a fish market, they will already prepare it for you. And that was the whole Namhe adventure. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye!